Hi and welcome to the first episode of The Light Leaders, a podcast for light workers who want to make more money and impact. I'm super pumped to be creating that and co-creating that with you guys because really with this podcast, I want to go big and I want to help you go big too. So I'm going to introduce in this first episode what the podcast is about, why I do it and what you can expect from it. I'll go through four things. The first is why I'm so passionate about raising the consciousness of our planet, why I think it's so important and, um, and light workers have a big role to play. Second is why I think creating an online business, making more money, having more impact is important for light workers. The third part, I will say why I do it with a podcast. And in the fourth part of this short episode, I'll explain more in details what to expect from the podcast episodes where I will interview amazing guests. But first, why am I so passionate about raising the consciousness of our planet? Well, I think this is a very interesting timing. We're at a time when, on one hand, we have forces that really push for more dehumanization and more control of the masses. Forces that really thrive on domination, on mind control. And we can see it today because this podcast is launching still in the middle of the coronavirus crisis. And on the other hand, we have a huge awakening on the planet. There are more and more people starting to meditate, to try plant medicine, to listen to Joe Dispenza and amazing, empowering content, lots of great podcasts. And so there is really that acceleration of time where I feel in 10 years, I could live in a world where really the powers in place have taken more and more power and really control the masses, control the people and exploit them and make people cogs in an economic machine. That's what we've already done with animals, especially cattle. That's what we've done with a lot of our planet, unfortunately. And some argue that's what's already happened to most of uh, humans. Now, that would be an undesirable future to me. And that could happen really fast and that would be pretty scary. But on the other hand, I could also believe that in 10 years, and I actually believe we're, we're going in that direction, we are closer to a kind of golden age where people feel way more connected to themselves, to the planet and to other people. And this is really the desirable future I want to go towards. And you know, in the world today, there are definitely a lot of big challenges, the environment, animal rights, wars. And it's really important for people to really address these challenges. So you have people, you know, who are really fighting for the environment, but deep down, we'll always have challenges. And so I think, well, these are, there are a lot of very beautiful crusades you can have for the environment, animals, uh, peace. Deep down, it's really addressing the symptoms because if you raise the consciousness of the planet and human beings, meaning people understand that our planet is conscious and we can interact with it, that uh, there is no separation between us and the planet, us and other people, then it's not really that you don't create harm because you were told to or because it's the moral thing to do. You just do it automatically because you don't even want to. The same as you don't want to cut your finger because that would hurt. Well, the same, you want to help other people, you want to help the planet just because you know it's part of who you are and you have access to that um, understanding. So to me, that's really addressing the cause of a lot of the suffering and the harm we can create today. And that's why I'm so dedicated to raising the consciousness of the planet. The definition of a light worker to me is someone passionate about raising the consciousness 
of the planet and taking action, so worker. However, second point, I want to address why I want this podcast to be focused on making money, creating and scaling your impact, often through an online business. Well, it's because a lot of light workers have a lot of judgment actually towards money or business. And while I do believe that there is a lot of power in prayer, in meditation and um, hugging your neighbor and smiling, we also live here in a 3D physical world where the energies that shape our world are power, money, business and entrepreneurship. And if light workers are really dedicated to creating a golden age or heaven on earth here and shift to that more highly desirable timeline, well, I feel like we need to step up and to say, well, you know what, I'll rewire my, my beliefs around money that it's not good or that it might corrupt me. I will step up and create my coaching program, create my personal brand, because that's what the, world's ne the world needs. And so I really want light workers to be fully in their power. And in this world, it means also expressing yourself. It means creating a business and it means um, with your online business, instead of if you're a healer, for example, you could help thousands of people in New York with your online course. And you could have millions of listeners all around the world through your podcast. And that's really what I want you uh, to do, because again, that's really what we need. We need more heart centered, benevolent, connected, higher consciousness people to have power on this earth to create um, an environment where people thrive rather than the current status quo where a lot of companies that are really big, a lot of the media, a lot of the governments are not really looking after everyone's well-being as their highest priority. It's more about making the economic machine work. And here we think money is a tool, not a goal, but we want to work with it. So that's why I think it's so important that light workers be like, you know what, I'm going to do a big business. I'm going to make money. I'm going to impact millions of people. We want that. We need that. And this podcast is here to support you doing that. Why a podcast? Um, I love podcasts. I'll share a bit of my personal story. Four years ago, I bought earphones so I could listen to podcasts on my motorbike. I was living in Sydney, going to my uh, nine to five job. And that completely transformed my life because then one hour a day to go back and forth from my job on my motorbike, I would listen to podcasts by Tim Ferriss, by Sam Harris, by amazing people, Tony Robbins, and also to audiobooks. And that completely changed me. And when you think about it, it totally makes sense. Imagine in the world of today, you can listen to the most insightful people that exist or even have existed that share with you their tips on living a good life, on building a business, on being happy. You would be crazy not to listen. So I think we live at the most exciting time ever because we have access to these amazing insights with our smartphone. I mean, when you think about it, how beautiful is that? If you actually make the most of it, but when I started listening to podcasts, it completely changed my life. I could listen to Tim Ferriss interview Tony Robbins could listen to Oprah Winfrey ask questions to Eckhart Tolle about meditation. I could listen to Osho's recordings. And trust me, that changes your life. Podcast is the one media that where you can go really deep into a topic. You can have deep, vulnerable, insightful conversations. And in a world where we're a lot about a Facebook post or an Instagram post, it's nice to be able to go in some, some depth. In a world where people often don't make time to go more in depth, to read more books or to 
watch two, three hour documentaries. I find that podcast bridges that gap because you can go deep, but at the same time, it's very accessible to the busy professional, to the person who wants to optimize their time. You can listen to a podcast while you go for a walk after lunch. That's what I do. Sometimes I take notes on my laptop and listen to it. Or sometimes if I'm on my motorbike or scooter, or you can listen to it in your car. So it's a very convenient, accessible way to listen to deep content and to go deeper. And it's free. It's so beautiful. I'm so in love with podcasts. So that's why to me, it really makes sense. I already had a podcast before. Now I want to go big with this podcast and really build it as a business and be strategic about it because uh, podcasting changed my life. It's growing so fast and it's such a beautiful media, especially in the world of today where mainstream media is often um, well, clearly incentivized to scare you. I'm so grateful that we have podcasts by people who deliver content that is empowering you. So that's the third point why your podcast. Now, number four, going a bit into details about what to expect. I will have really, really quality guests that are here to help you being empowered. It's really about impact, about empowerment. It will be people who are passionate about raising the consciousness of the planet but who also have created a business that's thriving, often a six-figure business or sometimes seven-figure business, thriving while doing good in the world, while following your mission, your passion, and, and helping the world really and raising the consciousness. So that's going to be really exciting for me to interview these people and for you to listen and to learn from them. The length will be between 30 and 40 minutes because I want to have enough depth, but at the same time, make sure I make the best use of your precious time. There are thousands of other things you could do besides listening to my podcast. So I want to make sure we give you a lot of value. And now to dive a bit into the questions and the structure uh, on these 30 to 40 minutes. At first, I will ask the guest the guest about their life mission, what really turns them on and why they care. And the business they built around that. So you have that context of what they can teach you, what you can learn from them. That will be five minutes. Then the next five minutes, we will dive into the hero's journey or heroine's journey. To make it relatable, they can share about what was their big shift, what made them um, start such a life and the business and the mission they are on. That makes them really um, relatable, allows them to be really vulnerable on this. We're not um, crazy superhumans, we're just humans who uh, do our best and are passionate. Maybe we're superhumans. <laughs> the next five minutes, I'll ask them um, how they built a business around their, their expertise. So basically they say, here's what I do, that's my hero's journey, and now in that hero's journey, more actionable tips on building a business around your mission. So I'll ask them really to be precise, so you, with your own Lightworkers mission, you can use these principles and these strategies to grow your business. The fourth part, is about how their expertise can also help um, people on the personal growth level. We'll look at the two angles, how they built a business based on that passion, but also how that passion and that mission can help people in their lifestyle. Because a lot of you, you'll have your own business and the business is going to be a reflection of your personal growth. It's going to be a reflection of who you are. So to give you an example, if I interview someone who does breath work and built a big online business with his breath work online courses, I want him to tell you his strategies on how he took breath work and made it a six figure, seven figure online business. So you can apply that to your expertise. But I also want them to explain how if you start doing breath work or their expertise, is going to help your personal development and ultimately also your business. 
Then we'll go a bit freestyle on things they, they like to talk about that's a little bit outside that scope. And then I'll ask them about something uh, I call the wheel of ease. So it's about environment, embodiment, and expression. I'll ask them to give one specific action you as a listener should take right now to take care of your environment, building an environment that supports your growth and the growth of your business. Embodiment, how your perception of yourself can be of the person you need to be to grow that business. And expression, what's an action you can take into the world that will put you on um, that trajectory, on that momentum. So for example, if you were to ask me now, if I were to interview myself, I would say environment, subscribe to that podcast and put in your calendar to listen to it every week because there'll be an episode every week. Like this, you take care of, okay, I have an environment that would help me thrive. Embodiment, five minutes a day, feel into the person you want to be. It's very Joe Dispenza-like, um, feel you're that person. So for me, as I'm starting this podcast, I would feel I'm, t I'm Tim Ferriss and that's who I am. And then I will let things manifest that way because I believe things manifest um, according to who you think you are and what you think you de deserve. And the third one would be expression. So I would say do a post on social media right now sharing about something you're passionate about, something you really care about and put your heart into it. Because this will show to the world who that new identity, that new stronger empowered you is now. And there's no turning back. And then you activate that will. That then the environment will reflect to you something closer to that new you that you embody and that you express to the world. So that's about the podcast. I'm super excited to be co-creating this with you because really I want to hear your feedback. I will create an email list. I will ask you a lot of questions. And uh, there is no teaching if there's not someone to listen to it and to apply it. So I want it to be super interesting, super practical, and I want you to Im implement this and have amazing results and share them with me. So I'm looking forward to be building this with you. This was the first episode. So you know a little bit what it's about. Much love.